In the Heart of the Word, Reflections by Father Joseph Mary, SCTJM, on the Daily Readings from the Holy Mass, Friday of the 13th week of Ordinary Time. God bless you, dear family. Today in the Heart of the Word, Jesus walks into the tax collector's booth. After healing a leper, healing the centurion's servant, calming a storm, and exercising two demoniacs in Gentile territory, Jesus calls a public sinner to be his disciple. Matthew was a tax collector. As we read his gospel, we see that he was brilliantly familiar with the Old Testament, especially the Torah, the Psalms, and the prophets. It is very likely that he came from a priestly family since his name in Mark and Luke is Levi from the tribe of the Levites. Matthew probably knew Greek and Latin since Greek was the language of business and Latin was the language of Roman law and finance. He knew Aramaic because he spoke it, and Hebrew because he studied the Torah. And he was totally lost. He had sold his soul for the money, and he was desperate. And then it happened. Today he would never forget. Jesus walks into the tax collector's office, and he calls him. What does Jesus say? Matthew, which means gift of God. Follow me. Not your thoughts, not your past. Follow me. For Matthew, this is the day of his personal exodus, from slavery to freedom, from sin to grace, from despair to hope, from darkness to light, from sadness to joy. What does Matthew do? He gets up and he follows him. Matthew invites Jesus to a banquet where he can tell his friends that they don't have to stay in sin, that they don't have to live in the darkness and the sadness. They too can find hope in Jesus Christ of Nazareth. How happy Jesus must have been with Matthew. Some criticize Jesus for calling Matthew, and at the dinner celebration, Jesus explains what he has done. He says, those who are well do not need a physician, but the sick do. Go and learn the meaning of the words, I desire mercy, not sacrifice. The phrase, go and learn, is a rabbinic phrase from halak, which means to walk, where we get the word halakha, the legal teaching of the Torah, which involves the mind, and Lamad, which means to learn, where we get the word Talmud, applying the Torah to your life, to live the Torah with your heart. Go and learn means let this scripture change your mind and enter your heart. I desire mercy, not sacrifice. Jesus is quoting the book of the prophet Hosea. He is saying, go back and read Hosea with your mind open and let what I have done there change your heart. The northern kingdom of Israel had fallen into idolatry, offering sacrifice to pagan idols, and she had forgotten the God of the covenant, the God of mercy. Just as the Lord did not abandon Israel when she worshiped the golden calf, and just as he sent Hosea to his people, Jesus does not abandon us. He comes to us to save us and that is why he called Matthew. And that is why he calls each one of us. Go and learn what it means. See who God really is. Let him change your heart and transform your mind. And then go and change the world. Let us listen to these words of Mother Adela. As it always happens in the history of salvation, the last word between God and sinful humanity is not of judgment and punishment, but of love and forgiveness. And that word is mercy. All for the heart of Jesus, through the heart of Mary.